What's up guys? Welcome back to another video on Cycle Fanatics. We are here again at JD Cycle Works. I brought the brackets for the Legend Suspension Remote Reservoir installation. So this way the reservoirs could go on top. It's going to look badass. Um, and we're here to pick up the Road King. So the Road King, Road King actually got fresh oils put in. The spark plugs were the spark plugs were fouled out, so we changed out the plugs, and uh, you know everything else uh, went over the entire bike. Made sure that everything is on the up and up. Also replaced the handlebar bushings because they were pretty worn out after the years. So stay tuned guys, we're going to show you the bike again, install the Legend suspension, pick up the Road King, and then head back. And we're also going to be picking up the bags for the Road King later. They are painted and they look awesome, so stay tuned. Let's see what he's got going on today. around my bike yeah. <laughs> I'm good what's up how you good doing you. good always nice to see you what's up Vinny how you doing buddy you your brackets I do Excellent. yeah Very cool. brackets can I nice. you want to see them what's up Vin? how you doing good check it out Vin's gonna be a star yeah <laughs> that's right <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna get these shocks on here for you. The remote reservoir. Awesome. Anybody, yeah, anybody interested in some Revos, um, hit me up in an email and we could work out a deal. <laughs> Dave said there's two brackets. One bracket is so you could still install the backrest and stuff, Dave. Yes. And then the other bracket, if you don't have a backrest. If you don't have a docking docking mount, uh -huh. this goes in place of that. Gotcha. Yeah, so that's, cool. since you are running that, we'll run the other bracket. 
which we started already over here a little bit. So this way everything will fit the cargo rack right mm -hmm. in the backrest. Yep, I'll click in here. Awesome. Backrest and the cargo rack will go in place here. Cool. Shock available. Two, two available. Yep. <laughs> Number two is over there is available. Yeah. <laughs> you can't have a bike without legend suspension, and you definitely that. can't have the bike with stock suspension. No. Well, that's the first thing I did on that thing. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Pulled the bags off and ripped them shocks off of there immediately. Final set these when the bike's all done and sure. There'll be a lot of resetting when the bike's all done. I've seen some people leave those washers on, they'll end up contacting this. Uh -huh. Turning clockwise, back it up four clicks for a starting point. Turn this in to it stops and back out three clicks for a starting point. So if the bike's extra harsh, you're gonna wanna you wanna wanna reduce your compression. Gotcha. You know, okay. but we'll do that like later, right? Yeah, that's you're gonna be having all that fun. Yeah. Cool. And if it feels like it's really squishy, like dancing around, you want to work on your rebound. There's there's some good instructions in there right. too. coffee in Pennsylvania. <laughs> Great. 
All right, so this is ready to go, right? That's right. It's all ready for you for the next owner. What did, uh, yeah, for the next owner. That's, That's right. right. Yep. We did a full did service you, on you? it where we go over the whole bike. We check the fuel pressure on it, the mm -hmm. spokes. Every moving part gets checked. And oh, wow, located. spokes too. Every yeah, time. Oh, yeah, wow. always, always check the spokes. Uh huh. Uh, all the oils, air filters clean. Put some part, spark plugs in it because they were fouled. Oh, okay. Uh, one more thing I noticed if, if you have a bike, and it's sitting for the winter. Don't start it. Uh -huh. Don't ever start the bike until you're ready to ride it. Gotcha. Because it just fouls the plugs up and it builds up condensation. If you don't like go through a heat cycle, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. If gotcha. you're going to start a bike, you got to put at least 20 miles on it. Go ride it. Gotcha. But don't gotcha. start it up to here and warm it up in your garage. Right, right, right. A lot of people do that, and it's a real or, bad thing or to do. They, the bike. Or, the, or the buddies come over and say, hey, look, listen, yeah, listen how it, it sounds. <laughs> yep. And the problem is, when you start the bike up, it's in a warm-up mode. It's extra rich. Right. So now you're pumping a raw through right through the motor. Right, right, fuel right. Running. So it's uh, it's not good for him. That's that's good. That's good that's advice. My tip Absolutely. of the week. Uh, sure. Tip of the week. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, everything's in good shape on it. Uh, we did put some riser bushings in there because they were a little loose. Some polyurethane bushings. Oh yeah, they were. They were a little yep, wobbly. So nice. yeah. uh, it's tightened oh, up really oh, good. Nice. Lubed up the cables. Adjusted the clutch. Awesome. Now check the battery on it. Fantastic. And um, that's about that's part of our regular services and any other thing we find along the way that might need attention we always let the customer know about and great see if they want to move forward on repairing it or not awesome and I got the bags now to match I got the new bags yeah the so I, I think they have a like a different relocation brackets or yeah you have to mess with mess with those bit. move them and see if it's gonna clear this as well mm -hmm. you can get a bracket which deletes this gotcha which sometimes pe people just cut them off right here. Yeah, they I put a cap that. in that, right. or you can just get the street glide bracket, which takes this piece off. Gotcha. And gotcha. that cleans it up a lot too. All right, cool. That's always an option for you. Awesome. And you got some different fishtails you're gonna put on it? Yeah, I think so. I don't, I'm not sure yet. You know which ones. Right. But um, the bike's super clean. I mean, it, it just needs a good wash and wax, oh, yes. you know, and polishing. Very, very nice. Yeah. For a 20 year old bike, right? Yeah, yeah not bad. It's great. Right, guys so we have the road king <laughs> back in all done i'm psyched to get it back home so i could put the bags on we're gonna pick up the bags super nice so we're gonna on the way home we're gonna pick the bags up we got the road king here i'm telling you guys get onto the website www.cycle-fanatics.com get yourself entered to win the, this beautiful super clean road king we're gonna be putting on the bags I'm still waiting uh, for the new seat and the engine guard because I ordered it it came and it was for the wrong bike so I had to ship everything back so um, waiting on the seat and the engine guard I do have the bags it's gonna look really nice and we'll do that in a couple days but definitely get yourself entered to win head on over to the website Again, it's www.cycle-fanatics.com. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. And uh, I think next week we are going to be back here. Dave is going to do a dyno run on our 
2021 Sport Glide build just to see what the base numbers are. That is also our build series bike giveaway. So get entered to win that beautiful bike as well. And then he's gonna be installing the SNS 475 cam with a Vance and Heinz Pro Pipe custom uh, dyno tune and a high flow air cleaner. So can't wait for that. So let's go back inside. We'll wrap this video up. I'll show you guys how the bike, how Silverback looks with the new legend Revo Arc set up on the bike. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We're going to be coming back in a couple days because Dave is going to slap the 2021 Sport Glide with the 107 onto the dyno to get a base number and then we're going to be installing the 475 cam in that baby with the Vance and Heinz Pro Pipe. I can't wait for that. It's going to sound absolutely fantastic. See you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel and you're not subscribed, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys later. Peace out.